All right. Good morning. So I see life is like a moving river. Now, you can be at the mercy of the river if you don't take action to kind of steer yourself in a predetermined direction. Wow, what a philosophical way to start the show. <laughs> in any case, a daily reminder that good things come to those who wait, but better things come to those who surf for it. So mm. what direction is your life moving in this Thursday? Do yeah. tell us, we'd like to know. Ah, what direction? Good question. Are you directing it or is it directing you? Let's think about that for a moment, especially on a Thursday when there's yeah. only one more banking day left in the week. I know, right? How I many mean, checks have you cashed this week? It's going to be the weekend very soon, <laughs> so you can call this the new Friday, even if it's a Thursday. Mm -hmm. It's a known fact that amazing things happen early here on the show. So welcome and congratulations that you made it with us here for the 7 o'clock hour. Hey, let's not forget that we've got some fine people inside of the kitchen that will be joining us for the show today. It yes. is, of course, Mr. Mike Mezzicano and somebody Pekin. I mean, look uh, at uh, her. Somebody what? Let's look wow. at her. Let's see what. He's now somebody wife. I know, right? <laughs> you know, I, Forget what exactly. When Mazine, when Mazine mentioned uh, what direction, you remember that conversation? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with your life? When last year had that conversation with parents? Wow. I okay, that. yeah. So, what are you going to do with your life? Tell us now. What is your plan for your life? Mazido, when are you going to have that conversation with Ray? Uh, well, very soon because she's very intelligent and she's mm. growing so fast. Mm. Okay. So, mm -hmm. it's coming, trust me. Yeah. Well, we are promising another fantastic time out. Thank you so much for making it. Oh, wow. Especially, big shout out to our e-community. My name is Titilaya Onison. And of course, my name cannot be forgotten or mistaken. My name is Mazino Appeal. Here, please, we expect that you stream the show live at tvcentertainment.tv. And on Facebook as well, if you tune in there right now, we are on live. It's TVC Connect. You can also send in your comments. Tell us how fly we look today. The ladies only. Ignore the guys. Use our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. <laughs> we know you love us anyhow, so it's all right. Give them the compliments. We'll surf for our own later. Download the app on both Android and iOS. Please do. And check us out on YouTube at TVC Entertainment for good old episodes of the show. Mm -hmm. We love Thursdays. Why? It's all artsy. We look colorful as well. Yes, uh, but then we bring the art. We have Clark, Tori, Sejef. Oh, good. Tori Tom Twist. Tori Seju. Tori Seju. Yeah. Right, got it. Now, it's an amazing, amazing session we have for you today. Uh, Nigerian digital artist, international records in art. He makes use of sgraffito. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means yet. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Later. <laughs> sgraffito. It's a technique with a focus on perspective. And uh, hey, we're going to be having an amazing show later on. And right after that, we have a tech discussion and we will be looking at first world versus third world tech in Nigeria. If you're ready for all that, just do stay tuned. Yeah. It's going to be fun. I want to yeah. say something. Yeah. <clears throat> Mike, I accept your challenge. I wow. Killed. So this is I accept your challenge. I this vibe. Why? Uh -huh. They were getting ready. I, don't know, I was moving. Ready. See, they were grooving. We already and I was moved. like, if the camera has come on now, you will just be performing this thing. So, they said they're going to accept the challenge. So, music. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Listen, when Kathy really? gets here, perhaps maybe she'll show some choreographed yeah, steps. And you and I are going to. No, 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 you, you are no, you, are a, you are a good dancer, anyhow. Where did you hear that? Yeah, I, I know you won the competition. Bro, you Mike know? actually won a competition. <laughs> I think that was his first million naira. <laughs> Wow. But you did you did win a competition. We, are, we all win competition. It depends on what the competition is. And it, was, it was a dance competition. Yes, yes, it was. Uh, but you know? that was in another no, life. That was, not, really? it was up to a million. Uh, mm. No, it was up to a million. <laughs> so it was what, 2010? 2010? Wow. It was... Okay. What? 250? Ah, that's some good money in that. No, 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 wait. No, no, the only me now. was a group. I'm trying to be, oh, talk about it sometime. Yeah, yeah, so okay. about sometime. I'd like to see everybody here exhibit their dance steps. Mm -hmm. I know I will definitely be very bad at it. But <laughs> in any case, we've got the weather coming up, and then the news will let you guys know what's happening. Morning, it's the news on Wake Up My Dear. I am Mike Messi Kennel. Now, we begin with preparations for the general election in 2023 as the independent. National Electoral Commission insists it has not extended the ongoing continuous voter registration exercise. The commission describes as untrue reports in a section of the media claiming it extended the exercise by 60 days. INEC National Commissioner for Information and Voter Education, Festus Okoye, says the commission is abiding by the order of a court which directed it not to stop the exercise on the 30th of June. First of all, you stated that the commission awaits the June 29th date for the hearing of a substantive suit 
against it before taking a decision. The House of Reps had in, uh, had in a motion last week urged INEC to extend the CVR by 60 days. But in a meeting with the House Committee on Electoral Matters, INEC said it was obeying the court pending a hearing of a matter on 29th of June. Now to updates on the industrial action by the academic staff union on universities. The federal government has reassured that academic activities will soon resume in the nation's universities. Minister of Labor and Employment Chris Ngege says there is ongoing effort to resolve the lingering face-off between the federal government and the academic staff union of universities after payment platforms. He said contrary to insinuations that the government was not engaging with ASU, there have been a series of meetings between all parties with the next one coming up on Thursday. That's today. The minister who spoke at the end of this week's Federal Exec Executive Council meeting disclosed that the federal government approved the sum of 1.2 billion naira for the digitization of National Social Investment Trust Fund. We are calling up a meeting tomorrow so that everybody in government side can report if he or she has a problem so we know how to address it. So it is not true that nobody is talking to us. By next uh, uh, period, we are going to again bring them together and what government offers to them will be given to them, will be shown to them for them to go back to the individual uh, unions. And uh, with that, we will solve it. That's how we solve the other one, so that we handle it holistically, not in, in pockets anymore. About 477 billion was refunded to many states. I do got 8 billion. Um, Lagos got 106 billion. Niger, 333 million. Ogun, 37 billion. Delta, 56 billion. We have Yobe, which was brought in today. They are, they are getting their own. Um, eight. And to foreign news, a powerful earthquake has killed at least 1,000 persons and injured over 1,005 in eastern Afghanistan. According to reports, the quake struck shortly after 1.30 as people slept local time. The Taliban has appealed for international help for the rescue effort as pictures showed that landslides and ruined mud-built houses in the province of Apaktika. Hundreds of houses were destroyed by the magnitude 6.1 earthquake and witnesses reported feeling the quake in both Afghanistan's capital, Kabul, and Pakistan's capital, Islamabad. It is the deadliest earthquake to strike Afghanistan in two decades and a major challenge for the Taliban that regained power last year after the Western-backed government collapsed. Welcome back. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria right about now. It's time for the headlines. And today I'll be starting with the Daily Trust. For the, mass, for the major headlines here, we have a military moves to flush out soldiers with divided loyalty, says deployment of unmotivated personnel count, counterproductive. Directive will further dampen officers' morale, war veteran. Move misguided, ill-advised, retired colonel. We have that on page four. And uh, right below the masthead, we have to the very left, governors, Monax sought to influence perm secretary's appointments, HOCSF. We have that on page 34. Right beside that, we have INEC agreed to extend voters' registration deadline. Reps Committee Chair, we have that on page 14. Family seeks justice for full attendance killed by Air Force officer. We have that on page 36. And right below the photo there, we have 20 of our mates still in Sambisa. Rescue Chibok girls, we have that on page 36. And below that, we have to the very left, kidnapped ex-Anambra lawmaker beheaded after 15 million ransom. We have that on page six. Cholera kills 74 persons in 30 states within six months. We have that on page 38. NGX sustains gain. Capitalization up by 153 billion naira. We have that on page 23. Moving quickly on now to The Guardian. We have right here for the major headlines below the photograph of um, Obi Tinubu and Kwankwesu. 2023, no place for placeholder. Falana, senior lawyers, back INEC. And uh, the writers here, we have like presidential candidates, VP nominees, can only withdraw from race voluntarily. Suggestion that a VP candidate can be substituted at, at will is erroneous. 
position elective, not appointive. 2010 Electoral Act, where pol political parties could substitute candidates, repealed in 2022 Amended Act. And uh, at the very top of the photograph there, to the very left, we have INEC denies extending voters' registration, insist on June 30 de deadline. And uh, we have that on page two. And uh, right beside that, we have Oloja Maholel, and you know, others charts path to media sustainability. We have that on page four. Right beside that as well, we have Kumi advises politicians on choice of running mates. We have that on page 29. Gone men kidnap soldiers' wife, six others in Chikun local government. We have that on page 29. And uh, at the very bottom of the paper, we have prescription, IPOB products of injustice, or Haneze, replies Buhari. We have that on page six. And uh, that's all I'll be taking for the Guardian. And moving quickly on to the nation. For the major headlines here, I have APC moves to prevent defection of 18 senators. Party fears loss of Senate majority. Worried Adamu meets party caucus. And at the very top of the mass here, we have Ngege Asu raise hope on versities reopening. We have that on page four. Abductors behead ex Anambra lawmaker after collecting 50 million naira. We have that on page two. When the right to the right, so there we have ADC presidential candidates. No criminal case against me. We have that on page three. Buhari attacks on churches, plots to instigate religious crisis. We have that on page 28. And uh, at the very strip, at the very bottom, we have Buhari in Rwanda for, ch for, ch for ch military officer's wife, six others kidnapped. We have that on page two. And that's all we'll be taking for the headlines this morning. Do stay tuned because when we return, Wake Up Nigeria continues. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back. Yeah. Welcome back. It's uh, What's Up and About mm. Talk is Cheap. Yeah. Mm. So does that mean that yeah. we are cheap? Mm. Because mm. we talk. Right. Mm. We, get paid, no, we get paid. We get paid for for to talk. Yeah. Yeah, we, you can be paid, but you're still cheap. No. It depends on how much you're being paid. I'm free at two different seats. Speak for yourself, man. <laughs> it depends on how much you're being but paid. Hey. I think that said, let's congratulate Blessing CEO for a brand new body, everybody. <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> Blessing CEO. <laughs> or no, our congratulations in order. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think they yes. are because mm, because I talk think, is cheap. Yes. Yeah, you know it's easy uh, as a country. Mm. We people talk about the power of words. Yes, they do have power, but I feel like their power is limited. Yeah, action trumps words, and that is what happened in the case of Blessing CEO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, action. You know, a, a few. Uh, we do, do we have the? Oh, okay, but we should have arranged for that uh, video. We're, we're, we're gonna have, have some the video. We're gonna have the video. Some other time. Have to be on um, Instagram. But yeah. this is what had happened a couple mm. of years ago. Or mm. months ago, she had told. Um, she had this post where she was exercising and said yeah. to people, do not get your body enhanced. You have to invest in exercise. Yeah. People who do body enhancements are lazy people. Mm. Save your money and buy a house with it. You know, she okay. talks about this house thing. Um, Only just this week, we got another video that seems to be a very, very different direction. An epic switch, call it so, from where her, her former direction, where she has had her body enhanced. Mm -hmm. She's had fat transfer from her hips, from her waist to her hips. The video there, they're very graphic videos that show the process and all of that. And it got us wondering, as in... In her defense, what? though, oh, she mama. said she was going in yeah. to ensure that the process is safe. So that's why oh, she had it already. Exactly. Okay, nah. So it wasn't something she did to enhance her body. She huh? just went in for the research. Wait, so no. very because the people have been who said that? Who said that? You said that. Right? What was that? You said that, that what she, she said. said buy a house with it. Now she's got her house. Oh, wow. She's what done do that. You? In terms of we know now everything is on social now. Everything because the last time she built so, bricks with she built house with really, bricks. Really, really. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't know. There are some so some people have priorities, and once you've been able to get take care of certain things. In the end, if you have excess mm -hmm. or enough or you're flush, why mm -hmm. not enhance your body? Why not enhance your outlook? I think it builds self-esteem. When you look better, you feel better. I have nothing confident. against I, I don't. I actually mm -hmm. don't. You see, the issue here is that I, I was speaking to Mazun and I said, look, until you have enough money to fund your temptations, mm -hmm. at that point, don't speak Great out against problem. them. Okay. Don't, okay. don't speak out okay. against them. And yes. for that time, the house or whatever was an 
after was that I did into the her own was that look. Yeah, yeah. She, she was in a fitness kind of person mm -hmm. and sure, all of that. Sure. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing in society today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have people who talk, hey, when I get into government, I can yeah. do this, I can do that. When they finally get into government, you start thinking, you start wishing that the last person had stayed. Yeah. Yeah. The same thing in our houses. We have Break very, the table. We have, yeah, we have people who are very <laughs> sanctimonious. That's we do right. everything, oh, oh holier than thou. Righteous. Righteous. Yeah. Righteous. Yeah. Yeah. Holier than thou. Yeah. And then, but you see, that's why I say words are not as powerful as people make them to, 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 to be. Yeah. Actions. That's where your, your kids learn from. Mm -hmm. What you say doesn't really matter to them. They watch you. What you, what you do. Will you go into motivation? 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 For me personally, I, don't, mm -hmm. I, don't, I have nothing against people who want to enhance their body. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the morning, you come on and you put on some makeup. Yeah. Yeah. Prettier. If you can have full, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's all not natural, but it, we love what you look like, especially when free. Oh. <laughs> but it, so, but it, it's... it's, it's it's great. You, For me, it was the previous post where she sort of like spoke down on people who okay. had gone through the process and all of that only to make a 360 or rather 180 mm -hmm. degree turn to be the lazy person that she spoke about. Mm -hmm. Whether having a house or not, and whether setting your priorities straight, you refer to people who go under the knife as lazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear you. And I hear in this you case, like, I'm thinking, be, okay, so to hey, you To be fair though, right, I will say, I will not say that in my life, in my years, so far, right? I've not said things and then done other things, to be very honest. So I think we've all had that moment where you say, you say, you know what, okay, this is my take on this right now. Yeah. But then along the line, we feel differently about it. Yeah. So I think what I've learned from those experiences is, is that don't condemn anything yeah. like outrightly. Do you understand? Not There's nothing wrong with her it. saying, okay, fine, just as Susie and pointed out, yeah. okay, maybe if a house is your focus right now, yeah. do that before any other thing. Yeah. But maybe outrightly calling people lazy for that was the issue. Yeah, maybe that. So yeah, you never know. I mean, as you grow, your feelings change. So I think I'm going to take back the congratulations and say thank you to Besson CEO <laughs> for the research that she has gone under. Yes. Maybe perhaps the next post will be her telling us the, 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 the advantages or disadvantages. Will you do? Mm. Will you do? How to maintain it. Would if I, you could. If, I, if something you enhance your body. Excuse me, if you buy a Ferrari, are you going to spoil it? Oh, oh damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Titi, would you? Yes, definitely. You would tune then it. Would you. you could tune Def it, though. <laughs> Emma, you know. Would you? There's you no need to ask you. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Tell us what. Tell us exactly how you feel. Would you do it, wouldn't you? Let's know. It's just a fun topic. We'd like to see. Welcome to the Wake Up Nigeria Kitchen. Good morning, everyone. Wondering what we're making today? Hmm. Well, let's introduce our chef first. Uh, whenever you see a Nigerian flag on the neck of uh, the collar of a chef, you know that this person is not a small boy. He has been doing this for a while. Welcome to the kitchen, Chef Ekuru John. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Also, thank you, viewers at home. Oh. Well, uh, today, uh, without wasting most of your time, we will quickly go straight to the point. Mm. So we'll be having a uh, we preparing Alfredo pasta. It's actually originated from a, it's an Italian cuisine. Anyway, mm. Mm, I think it started uh, 1908 thereabout by Chef Alfredo Ramnico in 1908. So, so these are the ingredients we're going to use, yes? Okay, can I just quickly run through the ingredients? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, yeah, for the ingredients we are using, we have our regular pasta, which is the twist. Here we have the cooking cream. Mm. Here we have the extra virgin olive oil. Here you have uh, 250 grams of chicken breast. Okay. Here we have your onions, uh, garlic. Garlic is very key in Italian dishes. Mm. Here we have the crushed uh, black pepper. It's also spice up the sauce. Here you have your seasoning, salt. Here you have the Parmesan cheese, usually called Parmigiano in Italian. Okay. Unsalted butter. Here in the glass, people might be surprised that what we have here is actually the white wine for cooking. White wine? Yes, it's white wine for cooking. Is it so. special cooking wine or is it just... Yeah, 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 actually this is special cooking wine. Oh. A special one that, you know, it's helped to enhance the taste of your food. Here you have your mushroom, mm. and here you have the fresh uh, parsley. Fresh parsley. Uh, yes. An interesting array of ingredients. Quite standard, quite basic. Most of them you can find maybe lying around in your cupboard. Some you might have to go to the store for. But Chef John is about to show us what we need to do first. <clears throat> okay, first and foremost, I think you, 
Pabol, your pasta. Okay. Already have pot, but the pot is on. Mm -hmm. It's uh, getting hot, yes. It's getting hot. Mm -hmm. So, most importantly, you allow your water to get boiled at 120 degrees okay. before putting in your pasta. Okay. If okay. not, though, you are going to mess up your cooking, your pasta will be soggy. So, it has to be boiled. Let's look at the pasta, though. Mm -hmm. Is there a special um, size of pasta I should look at? Uh, not, not, <laughs> not, not really. Okay. Not really. For the pasta, we have different types of uh, brand of pasta. Okay. Uh, we have different types of shape as well. Mm -hmm. So here we'll be using the twist, as you can see. It's so, so you have your twist pasta, and of course, those other ingredients you see on the screen there. We have salt. Onions, olive oil, fresh garlic, white wine, parsley, chicken breast, cooking cream, chicken flavor, butter, mushrooms, peppercorns, and Parmesan cheese. Parmigiano. I love cheese. I'm a big cheese fan. Uh, can I talk a bit about the chicken? Um, what, what is the situation with this chicken? Was it frozen? Was it fresh? Uh, how did this come about? Uh, well, well, this is actually the is, is chicken breast is the softest part of the Chicken, as okay. you know, at least it has about, uh, this is about just 250 grams, okay. and uh, that's uh, 105 uh, calories for oh. people that always watch what they're taking. So we are taking the chicken breast because the skin, I've actually taken up the skin. So can we, can we work on the chicken? What are we going to do to it? What are so, we do yes, we are going to shred the chicken. So quickly, let me quickly start with that by shredding the chicken okay. and also proceed in the next item so you know what finish? while he's shredding the chicken we're gonna be heading over to Winfrey um, no not Winfrey sorry Mazino Mazino you're looking a little uh, ladylike this morning <laughs> Fatty, what you been drinking <laughs> there's a it's lot of okay. white wine here so. I forgot my wig and my mascara wouldn't stay on my face <laughs> so it's okay I understand in any case let's do art for a Thursday here specifically because Thursdays are that day we look forward to for some great art and here we begin with Clark Toju or Terry Seju favor uh, he is a, a very interesting artist here he is a Nigerian staffito and digital artist with an international record in art he makes use of um, these techniques with a focus on perspective identity and mental health awareness you are welcome Toju good to have you here thank you very much now we're surrounded by your art and I think they're very interesting pieces but you have a story behind your art your focus is not just because you want to express what you feel it's also because you have well a drive and that's mental awareness could you tell us a bit about that first before we delve into your art proper okay so um, I started creating this technique of art in 2017 but prior to that I've been like, creating art over time but I mean in 20, 2017 I mean I, I became very depressed at some point oh, okay so and that was when I created my first painting mm. using this technique that's what we're looking canvas. at here, yes? Yeah, and that's called Clouded Minds. Clouded Minds. So, I mean, at that point in time, I had, like, my mind clouded. Like, I just wanted to, like, be free to do what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure of what I wanted to do, but, I mean, at the same time, I realized that a lot of youths, like me, too, mm -hmm. go through that process where you're indecisive of what, to, what, what you should do at a particular point in time. So, yeah, that was what inspired that, that first. What do you think was the main reason for that depression? And were you already an artistic person from before then, but only just found that expression was at your fingertips at that point? What was exactly responsible, if you don't mind my asking? Okay, so, um, as youths, yeah, mm -hmm. you, get, you get, like, this urge to want to, like, this competitive urge mm. presently. You get, like, to want to, like, be better than other people. Yeah. And in the society where we are, it's really, really competitive, and it weighs a whole lot. Mm -hmm. on, on we youth as well. So, I mean, that was like one of the things that prompted me to like... Oh, start. interesting. To think that this came out of that, Clouded Minds. Now, this is your first art in 2017. Yeah. Um, I do see some sort of resemblance that uh, from your physiognomy. Am I correct that this is you? No, this is not me, isn't but you, like, okay. it's... It's more, like I said, it's a clouded mind. Cloud, so it's, it is cloudy. It's an abstract painting. <laughs> it does and, look very good. Yeah, it's an abstract painting. So I just, like, try to depict mankind itself, mm -hmm. you know? And, yeah, that was oh, it. Very interesting. Five years of doing this and you're already that good. If this is your first painting, yeah. then you can only imagine what his other paintings are like. Let's take a look at this one here, which, not many, well, there's no mistake in this. These are, well, uh, images of you, are they not? Exactly. 
I find it very, very interesting that you're able to capture yourself in the different little um, reactions or, or expressions of your face. Happy, um, serious. serious, you know, all of them are represented here, especially that one. Unfortunately, they can't see this one here. If you can't, let me see. It's down there. But exactly um, what is this picture or this uh, artwork telling? Okay, so this, is, this portrays my mood board. Okay. How I feel, how I react to things. Yeah. I so it's, it's, it's my mood swing, basically. Mm, okay. So you have, you, it's more or less like me portraying myself to the world and showing that, okay, there are, there are different ways I react to things mm. through my facial expression. Nice. And I'm not the only one that like, reacts to these things. Everybody. Everybody does. does yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm also particular about your uh, mode of expression. Uh, this isn't exactly painting. Is yeah, it? No. What is it? So it is called S Graffito, scratching. S Graffito. Yeah. Okay, I, I call it Graffito. I'm sorry. <laughs> S Graffito is what S it is. S Graffito. So okay. it is known for poetry. Okay. Like, it's a technique known for poetry, but I applied it to painting. Like. So what do you do? Do you paint and then scratch out? Yeah, I paint and then scratch out. Mm, very interesting. And this kind of a painting takes you how long to put together? A month, three weeks, two months. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. And now when you translate that to money, how much would it cost? Yes. If I was to ask you to put something like this together for me. Most of my paintings are like a thousand dollars a page. Thousand dollars, nothing yeah. less. Yes, he doesn't charge in Naira, guys. He charges it <laughs> in dollars. But um, in the five years that you've been putting out artwork, yeah. would you say that you've gotten enough money or would you say that you're still struggling as an artist in Nigeria? Um, I won't say I'm struggling, but I'll say I'm, I'm, I'm okay. You're okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Let's move on to this art piece here, which is the biggest one. It's not, a, it's not an art piece. It's a wall by itself. And um, the one in yellow and black, uh, you have a certain fancy for dark paintings, I noticed. But yeah. what is that? Tell us, what's the theme and who is it? So this is called, this is titled, Look at Me, I'm Different. Okay. And it was inspired by a young Nigerian called Emis. Emis. On, on Instagram, mm -hmm. he's known as the coolest African kid. The coolest African kid. Yeah. So his storyline is there was this time when he, he came out to like talk about um, his mom's mental state mm. and how he lost his mom, um, mom mm. to um, um, psychiatric home. He took her there and then all of a sudden they said he couldn't find her. I remember that case. You remember that case? Yeah, I do. So, I mean, everybody kept on contradicting the fact that he took his mom to, to the psychiatric home. Meanwhile, he should be the one based on his outlook, mm. you know? And it actually touched me because, I mean, I feel like we shouldn't be judged based on our outlook. Yeah. You know, looking at him, he speaks so well, better than a lot of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. And it's, I mean, the fact that he didn't go to school, mm -hmm. you know, makes it all of like, and his outlook, like, yeah. but I mean, he's really talented and that was what inspired. Have you gotten any reaction from him on this? Has he? Yes, he knows, he knows. And he, what did he say? He's a friend say? of mine, he likes it. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's very beautiful. Now, our final piece of art here that we have is this one just before us. Uh, it's got uh, multiple faces on it. And once again, it's kind of like reminds me of that one again, like a mood board of some sort. But what is it exactly? So it's called Split Thoughts. Split Thoughts. So like I said, I think I, um, I made mention of my works relating to me personally. Yeah. So and at the same time, getting to understand that I'm not the only one going through these things. Yeah. So now split thoughts is more or less like a dilemma mm -hmm. between me and what I want to do. Now, there are a lot of youths that get to that point where they're indecisive of either to go left or go right. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, mm. like they're trying to like war with your thoughts and yeah. that's why like I have that. That indecision, does it have any, is there the influence of perhaps parents or, or society yeah, yeah. That as well. In your case, well, for yeah. instance, was it a case that, oh, you, a, a certain group of people wanted you to do this and you know that inside of you, you could do something else even better? Was that the dilemma that you were facing? Okay, so when, when it comes to my art, I, I, I get critics criticized on the fact that, oh, why are you doing black, black? Yeah. Like, why not, like, try something else, you know? Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I just want to do me. So, like, 
that's like one of well, those. Hey, you definitely are doing you. It's expressive in all of the forms of art that you're putting out. And I think that is very interesting. And especially the fact that you have a drive behind it, which is mental health, also bringing awareness to that part of, yeah. uh, of life. It's a congratulatory effort, I must say. And I'd like to say, hey, keep on the good work. Would like to see an exhibition sometime, Teju. Yeah, um, currently I have a show. Okay. It's at Pantheon Gallery. Okay. At Oniru. So it's, it's still ongoing to the 30th. It's a good the 30th thing. at yeah. Oniru. Oh, fantastic. Maybe I'll come through. All right, no problem. Good one, man. Nice one. <laughs> Great having you here on the show. Can't wait to see more. Thank you. Thank you very much for well watching. Do stay tuned. We've got more inside of Wake Up Nigeria. It's an artsy Thursday. So expect the book review somewhere before the end of the show. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. It's time for Tech Thursday. Now, we have quite an interesting topic, first world versus third world tech. Uh, are we ready for all that technology has to offer? I'm talking about our locale here in Nigeria. We have an interesting guest on this topic. He's Kolakbo Oladakbo. He's a tech expert and a music business professional. You're welcome. It's great to have you. Nice to see you. All right. Good. So, um, we're at third world. As a country, we are all we are known, or we are said, or we are yeah. classified on classified the third world, economically. on the third world yeah. as Nigeria. Right. And uh, so, for instance, the first world country would be the United States. Of course. <laughs> okay. So we're looking at it as a country. Are we ready for what they have? Is technology different yeah. when it comes to how the people interact with it in the first world and in the third world? Yeah. Okay. So you make a good point about interaction with the tech. Mm. Yes, uh, there's a different uh, interaction in the sense that we're not taking full advantage mm. of what could be, you know, billion dollar businesses uh, as well. But when it comes to tech, uh, there's no first world tech or third world tech. Mm. It's the response to it, like you rightly said, mm, mm. That, is, uh, that is the difference. Mm. And a lot of uh, responses uh, or delayed responses, as you may, uh, may see uh, in Africa or Nigeria, has to do with a lot of misinformation. Uh, you would see during the pandemic, there was a lot of, uh, okay, uh, fanatical, you know, conspiracy theories as to how COVID, you know, 5G. Man, let's not just, <laughs> like, if we go into that, I wanna, even, yeah. even from people I respected. Exactly. When, I, when it comes to that, like, like, Exactly. No. So, uh, education, being educated doesn't make you immune to misinformation. And you see a lot of fake news. I like the way you put that. Exactly. So, like, um, education is like a muscle. You need to keep learning. Mm. And something people find difficult is unlearning, you know, as well. And that's a very strong point when it comes to not just learning, but unlearning things exactly. that you thought. You exactly. Knew. And that, that affects the, you know, reception of tech uh, in Nigeria uh, and in Africa. And even in the U.S., surprisingly, mm. uh, sometimes you see some people saying, you know, some section, smaller sections saying, oh, we're not going to vaccinate our children or we're not going to, you know, do this and do that. And... The world has come to a place where, you know, there's no science student, commercial student, and, mm. you know, you, you interview the digital painter, mm. uh, who also have physical paintings, painting. and you have, you know, NFTs, NFTs, you know, changing lives, and you really can't stop tech, you know. Yeah, you can say, you know, 5G is causing coronavirus, but 5G is coming to Nigeria in August. Mm. The MTN yeah. is beginning so the rollout the roll out. in August at the end of the day and a lot of our, uh, our lives and, you know, to take it to a comical aspect, when you see, you know, in the 70s and the 90s, you have people's dads say, you know, I'm traveling for a business trip and, you know, they just have another family somewhere. <laughs> but there's that awareness now yeah. where you know you have Instagram, mm. uh, you have you know TikTok. I mean, I'm not saying it's still not happening. It's just yeah. there's the awareness. People are like, ah, is this not you know so 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 person? Exactly. And you know, you look at Instagram, the algorithm. You know, mm. uh, if you're a musician now, you need to exactly. pay attention to all that. You know, the, you can display NFTs on af uh, artist uh, profiles now. You can, you know, advertise on artist profile, and there's a big boom for podcasting. And even the TV we are on now was invented, uh, was designed, uh, the electronic TV, uh, by someone in the 20s. He was a 21-year-old guy who didn't know, uh, who didn't see electricity, who didn't have electricity in his house until he was 14. Mm. And he designed something that never existed Exist before. before. You get that. His name was Philo Fansworth. And, you know, there's so much possibilities. Uh, with tech as with well. With tech. Now, what, something I want to mention is there are times when policies from government and all right. that affect how people yeah. relate or interact yeah. with technology, especially in the tech world. Right. I mean, there was a time when Twitter was banned for quite a while. Yeah. And then recently, I think some few few days back or weeks, they said something about how the government wants to, if, if social media doesn't take out uh, pornography yeah. and all of that, yeah. they will, I don't know, I don't know yeah. about that. 
you know, in, in that one can 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 one can one and it, it's necessitated the use for VPN in some quarters. Yeah. We can't access some form of technology yeah. because of you know where we are and all that. How does one overcome something like this in the third world when it comes to relation or we are, uh, you know interacting with I, technology? I think uh, that's a very fantastic question, and I think when it comes to tech, mm. there's a lot of um, education. And when it comes, uh, specifically speaking to the Twitter ban, uh, you need to look at it from both sides. Um, if, for instance, uh, when you look at that, you see somebody tweeting profanity or mm. bullying someone mm. in Yoruba, so Igbo or Alsa, um, you need to ask yourself how many Twitter regulators, right? Can understand exactly the Exactly what I'm saying. And, and that can cause damage. And it's not just a third world problem. It's a first world problem. Remember, Donald Trump is not on Twitter anymore. Mm. <laughs> true, that, you know true that. And that was the most powerful man in the world. In the world. Not mm. 10 years, about mm. four years ago. So China has some, you know, website ban. I think WhatsApp uh, doesn't work in yeah. Dubai as well. They do have, yeah. Exactly. So everybody, uh, regulation is very important if it comes from a point of um, business. And mm. also, obviously, security. Uh, and I will not say, oh, the government was wrong in banning Twitter. Okay. The government was right in banning Twitter. I mean, we lost a lot of money. But at the same time, we came to the table to say, why is Twitter not registered in Nigeria? Or are they registered in Nigeria? And new policies form to grow it as well. But mm. you know, if it comes from a standpoint of you know, being vindictive against a particular business or silencing speech, then there's, you know, there's that as well. But we need to look from the government side as well and also look at opportunities that could happen if companies like Twitter, like Google, come to Nigeria or come to Africa, not even Nigeria, and you know, create employment, create new products. There are some products that are on Facebook that are not accessible to us in Nigeria. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's that adoption, regulation, it's all part of the process. It may not be nice to us today, but it'll be nice to us tomorrow as well. Wonderful, wonderful, Kolako. It is great talking to you. I, I, I hope we'll have you for one or two more episodes. We have some other topics to talk about. Yeah. But this was quite enlightening. Thank you very and much. And interesting to talk about. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, that's it. I hope you're able to pick one or two things there. It's about the way you interact with tech. It's not first world or third world. That's it on tech this uh, morning we'll take a message from our sponsors and then of course we'll be in the kitchen the internet at home dis 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 disconnects me but that's a thing of the past today i found the great solution with connect i can get internet from space it's super fast satellite internet from connect it's great i can get internet everywhere it's super simple and super fast it's Connect. Broadband up to 100 megabits per second. All this from 6,900 Naira per month. Isn't it great? Go to connect.com. The internet at home dis 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 disconnects me. But that's a thing of the past. Today, I found the great solution. With Connect, I can get internet from space. It's super fast satellite internet from Connect. It's great. I can get internet everywhere. It's super simple and super fast. It's Connect. Broadband up to 100 megabits per second. All this from 6,900 Naira per month. Isn't it great? Go to connect.com. The internet at home dis 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 disconnects me. But that's a thing of the past. Today, I found the great solution. With Connect, I can get internet from space. It's super fast satellite internet from Connect. It's great. I can get internet everywhere. It's super simple and super fast. It's Connect. Broadband up to 100 megabits per second. All this from 6,900 Naira per month. Isn't it great? Go to connect.com. Welcome back to the Wake Up Nigeria Kitchen. Chef Ekuru John is making Alfredo pasta. So far, we've been able to steam our pasta to perfection, right? Yes. And of Sorry. course, uh, we've chopped up the chicken. So what are we doing next? Okay, the next, let's just proceed in the sauce. Okay. So this, uh, we are doing the Alfredo sauce right away. So let's quickly uh, saute the, the chicken. chicken. Okay. So it yes, goes in the... Vegetable oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Sorry. Oh, extra virgin of olive oil. Olive oil, okay. actually olive oil. Okay. Uh, Italian cuisine is actually even paired with olive oil. Okay. Most especially. Now you so here I have the chicken well shredded. So I'm going to spice it up with some seasoning. We have uh, the chicken flavor, mm. black peppercorn. Mm -hmm. So it goes in straight. That wasting most of our time. Okay. So I quickly saute that. Just about. Uh, 
to two to three minutes. Let's say just uh, oh, oh, just in case. I think one. Okay. Is fine. Okay. So I know we also have some other ingredients that are going to go into the pan. I know we have some mushrooms yeah. standing by. Okay. We also have this chopped parsley. So thereafter, mm. you have your finely chopped onion. Yeah. Let it go in there, the garlic. Mm. The most importantly, garlic is very key in any Italian cuisine. They, they love garlic so much. I don't know why, but uh, you know, <laughs> the head benefit of garlic, we all know that. So most of their cuisine have garlic in them. Hmm. So Ooh. I quickly do that just to saute. Nice. I had a little bit of uh, black pepper corn to it okay. to spice it up. Okay. Okay. So here goes in the mushroom. Mm -hmm. I need mushroom. Saute it all together. Oh, nice. Wow. Looking and good. The <laughs> aroma of it. <laughs> if you're at home, don't miss it. Yeah? It's great. So, what I have in now is the cooking cream. This is actually cooking cream that goes in there that makes the sauce. So, right away, without wasting time, add the cooking cream. Okay. Okay. And after the cooking cream? Oh, I have my white wine. Oh, everybody's been looking white forward wine. to that. Yes, this white wine. So this is a special type of white wine. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc is used for cooking fish, chicken, and the like. Very nicely aged. And you have this feeling that this food is going to taste amazing. So... Chef John, thank you so much. We're working yeah. on the sauce. Pasta is ready. We're getting there. Stay with us. So much more coming your way on Wake Up Nigeria. Thank yeah. you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. Now, one thing I found particularly in this job is that people won't remember what other people say about you, but they will remember what you do and how you make them feel. So, hey, this is what I always tell people. Make yeah. a lasting impression as best as you can. Oh, yeah, you made an impression on me. I make an impression on everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did I say it was a good impression? <laughs> no. But, hey, why? <laughs> That's why we come around the second hour. Sometimes it's our second chance to make a good impression, you know? Mm -hmm. We have an amazing, great breakfast show aligned for you. And there's great things still to come over the next 45 minutes. Yes, indeed. You guys are going to love what we have coming. We can smell yeah. it in the aroma in the yeah. air already. The kitchen is fantastically put together. You've been doing a good job. Oh. But now Winfrey has taken over whatever is going on inside of the kitchen. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, going to be a delightful course. one. I mean, see, this. I've, I've seen this dish in different types in this kitchen alone. Do you understand? This one, we took it further to the far inside. So we're still here making our Alfredo, Al Alfredo. Alfredo pasta. Yes. Yeah, we have um, a whole lot going on here. I doubt there'll be anything left by the time you guys are back in the kitchen, but yeah. Yes, we'll see about that. Yes, indeed. Well, hey, we can't um, wait to taste it. My name is Mazino Abheel. Yeah. Yeah, on Facebook at TVC Connect. Yeah, send the comments. The ladies love them. We men, yeah, we're okay. Use the hashtag <laughs> Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Remember to download the TVC app on both Android and iOS. It's easy. Yeah. You're one click away from every episode that you might have missed on YouTube as well. Yeah, you can catch some old episodes on YouTube. Loads of people go there. TVC Entertainment is what you need to search for. And we have birthday shout outs coming your way. We're going to be celebrating you and your loved ones as you celebrate your special days. For a musical performance artist and music producer, Agbesi Samuel, popularly known as Samuel X, will be coming here to perform one of his latest tracks for us. We cannot wait. Oh, when did you read a book last? Maybe this should be the next one you pick up. We have a book for review titled Marriage as God Intends. Can you taste heaven on earth in your marriage? We'll get to find out more as we're joined by the author, Efemina Kukwama, a relationship coach and marriage counselor. Finally, joining us for an interesting conversation is popular dancer, choreographer, dance instructor, and also fitness coach, Kafayat Oluwatoni Shefao. Now, she's a friend of the house, and we can't wait to talk to her about her exploits. No, no, not exploit her life lately. There's plenty going on that we need to get updated on. Oh, 
Well, that's someone who is over 40 dancing like a teenager. I'm that's inspired, I have to say. Wow, that's she very is. She's over 40, mm. yeah. Yeah, there was something you wanted to show us the other time, wasn't it? Yes. So uh, there's a guy online called Larry who apparently went on a date and he felt really uncomfortable about it because Quite after the date, mm -hmm. after the date, he was going towards the bus stop and she was going towards the car park mm -hmm. and eventually, you know, got into her car and offered to drop him off at Aja bus stop. <laughs> and I was like, should he have felt uncomfortable by that? Ooh, Absolutely dude. not. Why? No, he Why is it the bus stop by making him uncomfortable? That he doesn't have a car. I feel, he didn't have a car. I feel like, like it was so cool. If I go out mm. with a car and a lady has a car and she calls me to join her, that's a good thing. That date went mind. well. Really? Yes, if the date didn't go well, she will not call you <laughs> to, to drop you, drop you off. off. Exactly. Wow. That's a, it's, a, it's a good one. Guy, mm -hmm. you did well. Uh, well I, I want to congratulate him for being himself, for being natural. Yeah. I don't think Kai is okay. Uh, no, he was uncomfortable. He was uncomfortable, he was uncomfortable yeah. unfortunately, but he shouldn't have been. He shouldn't I don't have been. Think, Why was he? I don't think he should have been. Some men were actually from walking yeah. to, the, to yeah. the car park and from the other car is at the other side. Yes. Ah, I don't yeah. want yeah. to say, let me take you to your car first. Oh, you're walking out to our car first. Enter car park, wait there for her to drive off before you now come out. Oh, or lie that, God. or lie that. Ah, where is this driver? Where is this driver? <laughs> oh. Where are you? Where in these yeah, days of Uber. Oh God, we should, we should maybe tomorrow. Please, yeah, let's continue. Let's, let's continue. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about that tomorrow. tomorrow. So you have to join us for a Friday edition if you want to hear that one. Let's do a break now. We'll be back with more. <laughs> the kitchen has come alive. Why? Chef Ekuru John is here with us. We're making Alfredo pasta. We are almost there. We're getting to the finish line. What is next, Chef? Yes, actually, we have come to the finishing uh, line of the Alfredo pasta. As okay. you can see, the sauce is very creamy. You have your chicken in there. You have your mushroom, your black pepper corn. Mm. You can perceive the aroma. So the final stage is just for us to mix it up with our parboiled pasta. We mix it up. I think this is the final stage of it. Okay. Then just saute it. Okay. Ooh. So I actually love my pasta when it's been creamy and mm. tasty. So I think that's it because the pasta there is already mm. ready to go. It's been parboiled. So this is chopped parsley, as you can see, and we also have my parmesan to garnish it up. So you said something about parsley earlier on to me. You yes. said something about garlic and parsley. What were you talking about? Okay, uh, parsley is a, is a very healthy herbs. Okay. Uh, it's very good. Most times, a lot of people that love taking garlic, maybe, and uh, it's because of the smell that discourage them. Mm. That whenever I take garlic, if I'm going out there, when I speak to someone, <laughs> to be perceiving the smell of garlic. So I'm just giving you a tip today. So once you eat your garlic in the morning or whenever time you want to eat it, just get a fresh parsley, okay. probably just two, three leaves, you chew in it. Ooh. That's where I'm going to do this. Look at it. Uh, yeah, like that. Mm. Like that. So abs absolutely, it kill up the, the, the smell of the garlic. You won't perceive any garlic and you are good to go for the day. Ooh. So that's it. Um, and no, that's why mostly Italian, they love eating parsley. Mostly in their soap, in their cuisine, you find out that you have parsley in there. But mind you, the Alfredo sauce, we also have the healthy option. Mm. So we also have the one that goes with vegetable that's been rebranded by Chef John. So you get mm. to see that maybe sometimes or that. So the healthier version uh, means you're not adding some ingredients. Which ingredients? Sure, sure, sure. The healthier version, you are not adding uh, the cooking cream. Okay. And the pasta, will be, the pasta will be freshly made. Okay. You are not adding egg to it. So mm. you are not adding chicken to it. It has to be mushroom. We have something like seedless grape. Uh, bell peppers okay. and some other okay. things that we'll be adding in there. All right, so let's tell our friends what's happening next. Um, we've put in the parsley into the pan, and our friends at home here, uh, they are wondering what's going to happen to this pasta next. I can, I've also noted that the heat is not so heavy uh, under the pan. Is there a reason for that? Uh, actually, I decided to lower up the heat because we have the sauce is ready and it's good to go. Okay. So that it's going to keep uh, drying up the, okay. your sauce. I want it creamy, as I said earlier, mm. because I'm still going to add a little bit of uh, parmesan to it. All right, then. So you have an amazing array of ingredients. We've also had a really interesting time learning about Alfredo pasta. I'm going to take that parsley tip because I actually am a big fan of garlic. We are going to be getting set to plate this up very soon. But at this point, I know Mazino is standing by. Welcome back. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria. Now, do you plan on reading a book today? I mean, you actually should, right? Because we actually have a book 
we would like to probably suggest, well, first of all, let's review the book titled Marriage as God Intends. Now, this book is actually put together, or was put together by Efemena Ukama, who is sitting right here in front of me. Good morning, ma. Good morning, ma. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, fine, so now I actually you. took um, out time to go through this book, right? And uh, I actually picked a number of things from it now. Thank you. I, I, it said, it's, it came across to me like you were trying to pass a message with this book. So now, would you, what would you say that message is? Before we actually go into the book in details, uh -huh. what would you say the message is basically? You're trying to pass with this book. Okay. Um, basically, um, I discovered people have struggles with marriage. Yes. You know, and um, it's um, peculiar to different people, married couples, and so on and so forth. This I got from the place of counseling people. Okay. And uh, so I looked at it. I was like, okay, so this is something peculiar to so many people. You don't have the opportunity, the privilege. It's not even possible mm -hmm. to speak to everybody. Why not put your thoughts together in a yeah. book form? You know, and basically marriage as God intends is a, a summary of what God had in mind okay. when he put up marriage mm -hmm. and that marriage is beautiful mm -hmm. and having a beautiful marriage is possible mm -hmm. despite our flaws okay. as human beings. Okay, amazing. So now I noticed that you actually went, and I mean, considering the divorce rates right now all over the world, do you mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. You hear about relationships here and mm -hmm. there. And of course, from your experience as a, um, a coach, a, a marriage counselor yeah. and all of that, what would you say is the major reason why people fail? In marriage, in marriage. Well, this is actually one of the chapters. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah uh, basically, when the foundation is faulty, okay. there's really little or nothing you can do. So what would you say is a faulty foundation? Faulty foundation, people don't even know why they got married in the first place. Okay. You know, some people got married because they were under pressure. Mm -hmm. Then we have people that got married because their family said it's time to get married. Mm -hmm. And True. there's another unfortunate incident mm -hmm that I've found in uh, recent times, many people rushed into marriage because they wanted to escape from home. Very true. You understand? True. So you have people that are damaged. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, people that are traumatized mm -hmm. and they thought, okay, marriage will solve my problems. Right. Unfortunately, because they were in a hurry to get married, they got into wrong hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's difficult for them. You know, when you marry a stranger, it's really difficult for you to relate well with the stranger. And if you are not patient, mm -hmm. and if your stranger is not willing to work with you, it becomes difficult really mm -hmm. to have a marriage. So that is possibly mm -hmm. another reason for mm -hmm. uh, SQ, um, a divorce. So basically, uh, I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine um, stayed with a guy mm -hmm. and she got pregnant for him, okay? okay? At five months, this guy beat her up mm. and she had a miscarriage. Mm -hmm. You understand? You would have thought that would be enough for her not to go in for the marriage. Mm -hmm. But she went into the marriage okay. and I asked her, why did you get married? Mm -hmm. She asked, where will she go to? Wow. Wow. You understand? Mm. No, where would I have gone back to? Mm -hmm. So we have instances like that. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, they either get killed mm -hmm. in the marriage because I don't have an alternative yeah. or it ends up in getting separated or divorced. Very true. In chapter six here, you also spoke about roles of husband and wife in marriage. I mean, mm. I feel that's a very um, interesting conversation considering, mm. I mean, we have a whole lot of feminist movements here talking about equal rights and all of that. So now, what in your view would be those roles and how do you see it in line with or rather against the board of feminism and um, equality, gender equality? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, let me quickly say this. I don't have problems with gender equality. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think uh, the man is superior to the woman. Mm -hmm. I just see differences in roles. Okay. I mean, scriptures is clear. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 1, 26 to 28 mm -hmm. says, male and female created he them mm -hmm. in his own image mm -hmm. and likeness. Mm -hmm. So God didn't create any superior or inferior gender, mm -hmm. but he clearly stated roles mm -hmm. for every gender, you know, so that there would be harmony in the home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have Adam mm -hmm. created mm -hmm. and given responsibility, given tasks, and so on and so forth. And yes. we see most men are built in such a way that they will be able to protect their wives, feminine and all that. And like Adam was given work, okay, so you go there, get uh, food mm -hmm. for the family. Mm -hmm. And the wife mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. was created as a helper, mm -hmm. compatible, suitable for him. Right. So she comes in as a helper, you know. So you have that as a default, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Well, we have uh, instances where circumstances happen. Mm -hmm. The man probably lost his job or something, and the woman is compelled mm -hmm. to be the provider. Now, this is my own take. Mm -hmm. Every man, even if um, circumstances happen, should strive to do something yeah. and not remain at that point mm. of depending on your wife because she is not created to be the sole provider. provider. That is my it's own your take. Own take. You understand? Amazing, amazing. You know? I mean, I would like to go on and on. I mean, there's only one top, um, chapter here. It's explosive marriage that caught my eye. But then again, I know a lot of people shy from that topic. But then again, because of time, we actually have to go. Thank you so much for actually shedding light on this amazing book. I think it's actually yeah. a must read for uh, people actually probably intending to get married. Thank you so much for being Welcome. here. Right Thank about you. now, we'll actually like to go on a quick break. And when we come back, more to come. Don't go anywhere. Now, coming up right here with us, we have a very interesting conversation about to start with popular dancer, choreographer, dance instructor, fitness coach. She's everything. She is Kafayat Uluwatoni Shafal. You are welcome. Yay. Thank you. Let me take that energy. And yeah. yeah, because you're all about the energy. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> it's How so good you? to have you here. When I heard you were coming on today, I was so excited. I get to meet you once again. First time we met must have been 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, and since then we have never crossed paths. <laughs> But it's good to have you here. Thank you. Kathy, uh, you're our last guest, and we don't have too much time. I want yeah. to talk about something very interesting. You have gone on from being a dancer to much more than that. Yeah. You're an author. You are a, uh, well, a role model. And finally, you also have a documentary out, a dance documentary. Yes. Please do tell us exactly what this is about, because we're so excited about it. Yes, the dance documentary is called Dance is Serious Business. It's basically um, capturing all that I've had to go through in establishing the idea of dance, of being a, a business in this industry, and reminding people that such journeys are possible. So mm. dance is serious business. They take dance as seriously as any business entity, you know, within the economic uh, ecosystem. Mm. So um, that is what it is. And I'll be uh, previewing it. Uh, an exclusive screen will be happening on my birthday okay. before we now put it out there for the general public to to watch is basically a body of work and also a lot of people who have been part of that journey mm -hmm. to say, look, we all supported this idea. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It is saving lives, employing a lot of people. Exactly. And it, it has actually helped, um, uh, I would say, convey an entire industry to the world space because dance has really helped Afrobeat music to go global. Yeah, indeed. And particularly yeah. you now as a one woman army, <laughs> how do you think that you've influenced this industry? Wow, I don't even believe there's anything like a one woman army. No, but I, you, be I, you better believe you are. <laughs> I, I believe that you can say you're a lieutenant at arms mm. charging an entire, um, uh, I would just say, a, a, a kaleidoscope of a, a community yeah. of people who are driven by your passion. Mm -hmm. And they, they encourage it, and you they just believe that and propel you to that place mm -hmm. where everybody can see that okay, it's not a bad idea after all. So I would say I accept that, but I say <laughs> that I, I didn't do it by myself. Now, when you started, I think uh, 2000 and uh, was it 2002 or so? Yes, 2001. Did you ever think that you'd get this far where you'd be reckoned as one of the biggest names in dance and choreography? And how many people do you think you can mention right now who are doing it? correctly and i mean names now <laughs> names okay did i ever think i'll get this far yes because that's been the idea i'm not going to where i want to be to be oh nice did i think i'll be a biggest name no i did not chase fame i was chasing the the purpose of making dance uh, a business that's okay. what it is and until a dancer can afford a ferrari a rolls royce or do 30 bg no. you know <laughs> we're not we're not going to quit we're going to keep pushing and letting people understand that look you can pursue your dreams whether you're a hairdresser you or you're a tailor you can get to this level whereby you can be recognized and you can actually um live a sustainable life with yeah. who you are and that is really the message behind uh, in everything. your case in terms of names uh -huh. Of people that have done that are doing it, I will say the idea of what I've been able to birth has given people like a Pokoli an opportunity to have nice. a voice. Um, we have a GGB crew, yeah. we have Luku Rose, we have yeah, um, Ikena, uh, we have quite a number, Ice Onweke, we have quite a number of successful dancers, uh, Abimbola, Ofafonwa, Wale, Shodade, that Wale Roba. Uh -huh. So many people that have established them, not just to say, look, not every famous person is great, and not every great person is famous. is famous. So there are a lot of great dancers out there doing it for the community. They might not be trending mm -hmm. or famous, but they are doing what it takes to get young people off the street. 
Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. About it being a sustenance uh, for you, we know that it's a big deal. We know it's we know how you deal. live, girl. Come on, stop all this. Stop, don't be modest. <laughs> You have this challenge out, yeah, um, yeah. and it, it's it's progressing towards your birthday, yes. and everybody's copying and you know doing oh, what Ma. you do. What? I didn't know. They Tell us about the challenge. It hashtag went what crazy. now? Okay, I, I, it's hashtag forty two twenty four. Okay. The, the idea forty two twenty four means I'll be forty two, but I don't look forty two. No, I don't you don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. So I'm just like to say, age is a number, but who you are inside. You feel twenty four, don't what? you? I feel I even younger 24. than 24. I'm younger than 24. I get it. You understand? <laughs> um, so I've, I started challenge like eight weeks ago, mm -hmm. but I just decided to make it a little tougher because I found out that people are very used to the cheesy, uh, oh, uh, uh, diggy, diggy, boom. I said, okay, that's challenge. I said, no, challenge. Something that dancers, how do I get dancers to be seen on a platform like mine, mm -hmm. I cannot get real dancers to be appreciated if I go for the cheesy moves. I said, let me challenge you, let me go a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Then when you, people first say, ah, who won't do it? <laughs> I expected that reaction so much. And there was a guy, uh, Larry Channels, I love that dude. He was the first one that came with the criticism videos, like, um, Antikafi, Edjo, um, please, um, this challenge is not for it's not us. for the, yeah. It's, no, it's not for us. It's for somebody else. Please, we only know how to do this and do this. <laughs> so that even made it, people got a little more curious and all of that. And I love the fact that before you knew it, one mm. person tried it and one person tried it. And that is what the social experiment is all about. Yeah. When you can get to challenge your mind, you're going to look at it either from competitiveness or from the idea of, I think I can do it, or inspiration. Now so one person did it before you knew it. Hundreds of people are yeah. doing it. And it's we have movement. those that were eating a bar. Yeah. When do I do it? Okay, coffee cup, come on, give me. It's fantastic that you can have so much influence in people's lives and their yes. actions. And it's growing bigger because yeah, right it now it's, go it's come to stay. It's not just going to remain um, mm. a challenge for yeah. the for my birthday. It's going to yeah. remain as something. So, good. real quick, wanted to touch on something a yeah. bit personal. Um, yeah. Now, the last time you came here um, and now you have a different status. Now you're a single mother. Yes. How has that affected I'm everything, single. especially approaching 42? <laughs> um, how would you plug that into everything that's happening in your life right now? I'll say balance. Life is balanced. Life goes on. Uh, being a single mother, one of the things that I've been trying to let people understand about the situation of being divorced or being separated from your spouse is leaving peace and not in bitterness. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it's a journey. Life is a journey. Life happens, you know. We're not going to hold on to our past. We're going to have to forge towards the future, but the future should be forged in love. Mm -hmm. So for me, as a single mother now, I'm wiser about a lot of things. And, uh, you know, spiritually, uh, I've grown emotionally, psychologically. I'm still growing, and we are still finding, I'm still finding myself, yeah. you know. I think I'm ready to explore who I am even more. Nice than before and open, just open to life. That's not, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, and now uh, you're not just a single mother, you're yes. a single mother in the eye of the public. Yes. What's your relationship <laughs> still like with your ex-spouse and okay. how do you expect that that's gonna affect your, ch your, your kid? Uh, it has always been cordial. You know, this is somebody you love. You don't stop loving them. That is, you know, I love that you said exactly. that. Exactly. Fantastic. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not a vindictive person. Nice. I'm not bitter. I've never here, here. been. So Preach. <laughs> I'm not that kind of, I'm not that person, even if they come with it. I was only telling my story. It got to a point where we're trying to make it like, oh, why are you talking about it? I said, I'm talking about it because there's a reality yeah. of people who yeah. are in it and can't get out because of what people say. Mm -hmm. It is better to be a good human being mm -hmm. than trying to be status-wise good to people and nice. you're dying from within. I love that and that's, energy. Th that's for me. Keep so me we, we have a good, for me it's about the children need to be raised right. Yeah. I'm trying as much as possible to make sure that you know, he's in their life yeah. as much as it, you know, it, it, it's, you know, it's available. Kathy. So. That's fantastic. <laughs> Couldn't have put it any better myself. And I applaud you. your efforts and everything. Tell you what, let's check out the. What's happening? That's Buga. Chef John, uh, Chef, uh, Chef Ekuru John has done a masterpiece of this Alfredo pasta. Mm -hmm. And we're pleased to present it to you. Please wow. tell us what you think about what he's First done. First of all, whatever mm -hmm. I say, Take yeah. it or leave it. It'll be the truth. Because I'm not a pasta fan. So oh. if I taste it and I like it, uh. something is happening. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go, go, ahead. Ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Please. <laughs> dig in. Dig in. Dig in. Mm. Dig in. There's wait. chicken in there. There's, There's chicken in there. Cheese in there. There's mushrooms. parsley, mushrooms. 
Oh my god. 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 Okay, we can talk now. All right. Yeah. So, uh, in case you're looking for a, a chef to come and work at your <laughs> event, I don't know. Chef, oh, yeah, uh, chef away. All right, then. Yeah. We wish we had more time, but we have to wrap it up. But it's going to be a fabulous Friday edition tomorrow. Yes, Catch you guys then. See Bye -bye. you guys. Bye.